What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Money, and welcome to today's sponsor, War Thunder. In one of the most amazing fun games I was able to play in a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, this game offers everything ground battles, air battles, sea battles. You have air to air, you have air to ground, you have sea to sea, sea to ground, sea to what? You know, the only thing I think they don't have yet is space, but everything else is here. As you see, we have World War II tanks, we have uh, newer tanks such as the Leopard, as you can see, or the M1 Abrams. We have uh, massive bombers, old ones, new ones. We have helicopters. Dude, there's everything, okay? And so, if you want to play a vehicle game, uh, this is the game for you. War Thunder is a military vehicle combat online game for free available on PC, Xbox Series X, S, PlayStation 5 and below. It's completely cross-platform so all players play on the same servers and there's not really any reason for you guys and gals not to try it out for yourselves. Use my link down in the description pinned comment because that will kickstart your play with one free premium tank, aircraft or ship depending on what style of play you prefer along with an account boost for three days or upgrade. And if I know anything from, uh, you know, tanks then it's, it's that a mouse tank you don't take it on frontally it just doesn't work thankfully he fired and I used the time um, that my teammates rely on me to flank the mouse shoot it in his weak spot on the side and get the takedown you know that thing would have probably occupied us for a long time frontally the key features of War Thunder really amaze me ladies and gentlemen we have more than 2,000 historically accurately playable tanks aircraft helicopters and ships that span over 100 years of development from 1920 till the present day. With more than 50 million players worldwide in a massive combined armed battles all over in air, land and sea, uh, with 100 major battles from the real World War II up to the present day. You can always choose between arcade mode for the quick action gameplay or the realistic mode for the full realism and the simulation feel when playing. You can play PvP or PvE co-op missions with your friends together. Realistic physics with the most detailed immersive vehicle damage models in all of gaming. Instead of having hit points, your vehicle suffers actual damage to its components or crew depending on how you got shot. And the kill cam in the top right will always show you how you or the enemy vehicle got destroyed so you can understand it also better for the next time. And the game is in active development, there will be free updates every few months with adding more content such as vehicles, maps or features. Here we are using the old Tiger 1 tank, um, an infamous monster from World War 2 and uh, that guy was hiding there behind the rock and he thought I didn't see him but I did and boots right through his turret and then there was a really funny situation happening while I was playing this you see it coming there from the right I was like wait what what's this uh, oh, oh hello that's not good boom <laughs> Oh man, that is crazy, dude. So this is the guy who took me down with the missile. <laughs> Alright, in the next situation, let's use my understanding of armor and physics to my full advantage here. I'm positioning my panther in a way that allows me to side scrape down this road, offering the side of my armor in a very steep angle so that the enemy should bounce off when they shoot me. I'm expecting them to come from here and they do. I track him and leave him immobilized. He shoots and exactly this happens. He bounces off. I reverse back and my second shot hits him in the very vulnerable side. The target destroyed and he's completely d done. There's another enemy on the same location though now. Uh, the first one hit my fuel tank, an external module, not important. Uh, and now I try to bait another shot into my flank, offering him uh, the side so he bounces off and I can shoot. And it worked! He fired, I was able to bounce the shot and uh, put a very powerful shot into his side, taking down crew members, taking down internal modules and structure, leaving him almost destroyed basically. I caught fire with the fuel tank but it's an external module it's not so bad. I was able to extinguish that. But in my really bad situation here, I'm surrounded by so many enemies. Unfortunately, although I deserve to perform better here, uh, I don't. Uh, in the end, I'm not. Because an enemy comes from the front, the third kill basically, and then another guy from behind with a centurion or something. Um, I was, I'm not yet destroyed, but um, before I can repair the internal damage, um, um, yeah, I get fully destroyed. So, let's get into the best situation I'd ever had playing tanks uh, in War Thunder, and uh, also then show you my best uh, air situation, okay? But first, let's go with ground. You see, uh, and while moving, I put a, a shot into uh, an enemy very far out in the distance, and I'm getting attacked by many enemies. I'm pretty much out in the open with my T-54. It's a medium tank, but with decent armor. 
and uh, and I'm really trying to stay alive here and put as many important shots into enemies as possible. Uh, I only very yeah that was a bad hit. I did not take down this enemy here, but uh, I'm still safe from the guy who was in front of me. It's a night map, by the way, and I'm taking another shot into him. Boom! That was also a massive hit. His armor engine is destroyed. He lost another crew member. There comes an enemy leopard one up there. He thought it would be safe to shoot me, but I saw him and boom! Target destroyed with the first shot immediately. He was just about to aim on me, and that was the moment I hit him right there. And I'm circling back to hit the guy in front of me, and he takes down my track, but I was able to take him uh, another uh, crucial damage. But unfortunately, he's still there, and this guy shoots me with his auto cannon there, not really able to take me down, because as I said, I do have some good armor. Um, and I'm, I disabled him with my first shot. He's not yet destroyed, but my second shot, oof, target destroyed. Alright, but I still have that problem in front of me that I was unable to solve. I shot him three times, but I haven't been able to put the final nail in the coffin, basically. I wasn't able to really destroy the tank yet. And here comes the shot. Bam! Target destroyed. Uh, whatever I hit this time, it was fatal and his tank is now completely destroyed. That was the third kill, by the way, that I've already gotten, I believe. Was it? Or was it the second? Um, but yeah, uh, there's another guy coming in. Bam! Target destroyed. I went right through the turret on this American tank. I hit a lot of crew members and uh, basically knocked out the crew in the tank. And that also gets you destroyed, even if technically the tank wouldn't be fully destroyed yet. Um, you can uh, destroy the enemy by knocking out their crew or by destroying ammo rack and making internal explosions happening and so on, right? So, we're moving forward here, still in the same situation. I can't believe I'm still alive, by the way. There's an enemy uh, uh, tank destroyer that I'm, I'm not sure where to place a shot. And then I found this this part in the upper structure of the uh, the superstructure. And it seemed to have gone through him and uh, destroyed ammo, uh, ammo capacities in the tank and also uh, take, took down the crew. Then I used my time I had here to shoot down an aircraft, although... I didn't hit it, but it could have worked, you know, if I had been a little more lucky with my shots, then I would have also shot down this aircraft uh, and taken this guy down as well. I'm st I can't believe I'm still alive. I've gotten so many shots uh, by the enemy, but thankfully they had not been able to penetrate me in a very, um, uh, yeah, fatal way. And so I'm attacking their enemy base here. Or I'm basically positioning myself in a way that when the enemy comes from the enemy base, I'll see him and I can shoot them right away. And that is exactly what's going to happen here very soon. There is the enemy uh, M48 and boom, another shot right through the turret and boots, he gets destroyed. Cool. And then I see on the minimap there must be an enemy behind me because on the minimap shows a red circle. This is the arcade mode, by the way, that we're playing. And uh, I turn around, see the enemy. I don't know how he got there, but uh, yeah, we both didn't see each other until this point. I took one more shot through his turret and he's gone. I preferred playing the arcade battle. It's a little more easy for me. Uh, realism means you have no indicator when a tank is being spotted or something. You actually have to see it with your own eyes um, sitting in the bush or whatever, right? And it's really difficult. Um, and uh, I wasn't uh, really so good with the arc uh, with the realism mode, but the arcade mode was more my style of play. And this is how I got destroyed. You can see it here. The kill cam shows how I got um, destroyed by the enemy uh, tank destroyer here. I think it was a Yak Tiger, was it? Uh, and uh, yeah, also my performance at the end of the game is being shown here. So let's swap into the next situation. I, uh, I want to show you some more things. Uh, I could have wrap up the video earlier, but I had so many good situations I wanted to show you and so many beautiful maps that the game has. The graphics is spectacular of the game. And uh, and it's so much fun to, uh, to, to get kills. It's so rewarding. It feels so good. Here, the first shot, it hit him really badly and uh, I, I may have gotten some not important module destroyed or whatever but he's still going the next shot on another target however was a one hit kill as you see very 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 bad hit on the enemy or strong hit on the enemy he got destroyed and then the leopard comes back uh, thinking I may still be reloading but I wasn't I was actually just finished reloading and I took down the le leopard as well so now I've taken down the leopard and the other tank and here is another enemy coming in uh, this this time I was bouncing. You see my one track is destroyed, but even with one track destroyed I can still turn around my tank because the other tr tr track is working So I just use the other track and turn around get myself in cover even though my track was uh, broken really cool that this works Then I'm trying to get this leopard here. I had a green hit indicator But it doesn't always mean you do a certain penetration and in this case. It wasn't uh, and uh, I, uh, however, he also bounced off me because what I do right now again is side scraping. I'm side scraping backwards. 
Uh, we call this reversed side scraping is because I'm driving front I'm basically showing him my weak backside, but the backside was hidden by the by the house. So he only saw my side and that is reversed side scraping. And he wasn't able to penetrate me either. And here on the other side, I spot one more vehicle uh, that I can take down with one shot before some really, really, really strong thing happens uh, and hits me from the air. <laughs> hey, buddy, how is the air up there? <laughs> All right, so next situation here, and this is also a really, really good thing, uh, good moment. I had many takedowns and really good use of my armor and my knowledge from uh, about tanks that I had here. Uh, I uh, actually this was the first time I ever saw this map, and I just tried to do the best I can on it, and it actually ended up pretty good. Um, also, remember, in a few moments, I'll show you my best air combat situations uh, as well. But let me just go uh, a tank mode a one more time, okay? So, we're coming in from the side, I have a T-54, very powerful turret, that is able to absorb shots. I did, however, lose my, uh, I think, my, my uh, aiming person, the, the guy who shoots guns or who looks through, um, uh, through the scope or something. So it, it left, I was unable to shoot back yet, um, but um, yeah, I didn't get destroyed because the turret is really sturdy. So let's go forward now that we have uh, restored everything and wait for the enemy. He's probably going to come back at some point. And oh, there he is. Yeah, he's coming back. So I'm this time I'm ready. I'm aimed in and I'm waiting for him, right? And let's see if I can put a good shot into him into his frontal turret right there. Waiting for a hit indicator. There it is. Green shot. Boom! Right through the front of the turret and gotten his ammo rack explosion uh, right there. And also some crew members knocked out. Very, very good hit. Now, uh, this is where you play a T-54. You play it on ridge lines where you can use the frontal armor in a steep angle or the front of your turret uh, that uh, blocks most shots very effectively. And then I spotted this hole and I knew an enemy was behind it. So I was like, hmm, maybe I'm lucky and the guy will actually drive through and boom, he does! Tank down! Right through the side of his turret. He did not expect that. He thought he was safe, but that hole <laughs> did something different. So now that the enemy has fired from the left, I use this as a moment to attack, right? I saw, boom, the shot going by, and I was like, okay, now he's reloading. Let me ex advance, get into a more and into a better position, maybe. And that is why I drive, drove here, up this ridge. I didn't really know where the enemies might be, but then I saw this guy, and before he could react, I already put one into his sight. The target destroyed. Very good. Okay, so moving on, some more. So, somewhat further and then I see hey, what's this looks like a turret boom target destroyed Dude, this is awesome, man. I like this t54 and the t44 too That was my favorite play so far But I also enjoyed running the German Panther because also get great mobility good gun and everything um, but overall, I was really having the best best experience with the T-54. Um, I, I think uh, I also played Tiger 2 and Tiger 1, but um, my I was better with the more mobile medium tanks than compared with the super heavy tanks uh, because they're more flexible in some way, you know? All right, so let's go into the promised uh, air battles. Um, as you can see right here, I'm flying a, a really, really cool plane, and uh, let's go, let's go. You see the, uh, this is the uh, arcade settings. In the arcade settings, you see this little black uh, circle. It shows um, where you need to aim at in order to uh, lead the target accurately and properly, you know? I already took down a plane, and there is the next guy. I'm trying to get him, but he's really good at avoiding my shots. <laughs> Eventually, though, I get him destroyed, and that is it for him. Ha, ah, all right, good, feels good. Let's get into the next uh, battle. I already took down two planes. Maybe I can get another shot off. Here is someone and... Ah, oh, come on. And got him, nice. Target destroyed, third kill. Okay, and <laughs> next situation. Really nice. Again, ladies and gentlemen, War Thunder is a military vehicle combat online game. Free to play on PC, on Xbox Series X and S, on PlayStation 5 and below. And you know, don't need to purchase anything. Just download the game and play immediately. That's what free to play means. And also, it's cross-platform, so you can play with all of those people from different platforms on the same service, which is really cool and unique. Just try it out for yourselves. Use my link in the video description and pinned comment to register the game so you can receive a free premium tank. Uh, uh, you know, aircraft or ship um, in the game and uh, also get a three-day account boost at the same time and then get playing and Yeah, see which uh, which playstyle you like more land air sea. What is it for me personally? You saw I didn't play sea battles because I'm not very interested in ship combat uh, But everything regarding tanks and planes is interests me 
Um, and uh, yeah, so we're, we're making the final kills here and I also want to say thank you everybody for watching um, And uh, I also had a tr ton of fun here in this. Uh, maybe you want to see more of it Tell me in the comments if you want to see more uh, War Thunder gameplay uh, and uh, Yeah, let's circle around get a few more kills. Uh oh He's already shooting me. Whoa, I was able to dodge the shot just before I <laughs> uh, dodged his plane before I got uh, into a ram. But now I'm I'm burning. I think I'm going down. So best thing I can do is take someone with me while I'm going down. And <laughs> uh, surprisingly enough, that actually worked. So uh, yeah, I was able to go down, you know, with something useful for my team at least. Uh, not just go down for, for nothing, you know. Turn around after this kill and then get the next takedown here. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr